So yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, I want to begin, and it is my great pleasure to introduce Naomi Klein today. I think given the headlines we've read across the national newspapers and our own, that she arrives at a time in our own backyard when the issues of oil and economics are at center stage in the forefront of everybody's minds. In fact, uh, Naomi was telling me prior to coming here that she had to, because of Jim Prentice, modify her speech. So just so you know, there are some modifications in place and I think that's entirely appropriate. So for those of you who don't know Naomi Klein, she is an award-winning journalist, a syndicated columnist and author of international bestsellers. This changes everything, capitalism versus the climate, the shock doctrine, the rise of disaster capitalism, and no logo. She is also a columnist for The Nation magazine and The Guardian newspaper, and is a contributing editor to Harper's Magazine. She is a Puffin Foundation Writing Fellow at the Nation Institute and is on the board of directors for 350.org, the global grassroots movement to solve the climate crisis. Her critically acclaimed new book, This Changes Everything, Capitalism Versus the Climate, is a 2014 winner of the Hillary Weston's Writer's Trust Prize for Nonfiction. It has been named to multiple best 2014 lists including the New York Times 100 Notable Books, an instant New York Times bestseller, and this changes everything, as I understand it, is being translated into 15 different languages. Just one thing I wanted to reach, read you from one of the reviews, because I thought it was really on the nose. In her new book, This Changes Everything, Naomi Klein turns her guns on capitalism's role in climate change. She argues that we have not done the things that are necessary to lower emissions because these things fundamentally conflict with deregulated capitalism. We are stuck because the actions that would give us the best chance of averting catastrophe and would benefit the vast majority are extremely threatening to an elite minority that has a stranglehold over our economy, our political process, and most of our major media outlets. And I certainly think you'll keep that in mind as we listen to Naomi today. Naomi Klein, please come up. Give her a warm welcome. Thank you. 